Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. A great stretch I want to go over, particularly with people with chronic spinal pain, not only in the neck, mid back or lower back, but here is a miraculous stretch. I'm hoping it can help millions of people out there. Just to go over a few, a uh, couple of things, I wanna uh, go over just a few things. I just wanna put this up for a second. Uh, the most important thing that I want to bring out to you is that if you're having excruciating pain during this technique, do not do it. Uh, what we're going to do is mainly just stretch the spine a specific way, but let me explain why. There is what we call dural stretching, the dural sac. Uh, realize that poor posture, forward head posture, rounded shoulders, automobile accidents, stresses, sitting at a computer, slipping, sleeping incorrectly, working at a desk with your head down like this, texting all day long, causes significant problems in the upper neck area. Now let's look at this problem. Uh, let's look at this picture right here with the meninges. Uh, just a quick little overview, a little bit of anatomy. Uh, the outside of the spine has three layers as well as the brain called the meninges. The inside layer is a, is a pia mater. The second layer above is called the arachnoid layer or the arachnoid mater. And the outside layer is called the dura mater. We're concerned with this dura mater. Uh, this dura mater uh, can develop tension in there. And obviously when there's tension in that dura mater, uh, because of the fact, let's go to this next picture here. Let's give you a little understanding. This shows you that the dura mater attaches on the bottom of the brainstem, actually all the way around the brain, but the bottom of the brainstem all the way down to the coccyx. So what this is telling us is that the entire spine has the dura running over that spinal cord. So in other words, if we are developing problems up here as a result of dural tension in there, that can affect other parts of our spine. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to be able to challenge that in just a second. So as I, as I move here, just to give you a little capture of, uh, let's move this here. Okay. If you look at the spinal nerve relationship to the vertebrae, uh, that just shows you the complexity of the vertebrae. Just a little picture showing you that there is a dura there. The dura covers the whole entire spine. Just shows you the different spinal nerve roots in relationship to the vertebrae. I'm going to leave this up here, but here is our stretching exercise. This is quite exciting. Now, particularly people who have forward head posture in this position, the vertebrae have a tendency to start going forward forward, sitting on top of each other and flexing forward. Rounded shoulders, the vertebrae flexes forward. As a result of that, the suboccipital muscles underneath the skull have to overwork because as our head goes forward, guess what? The suboccipital muscles behind the skull have to contract to bring our chin up to look ahead. Otherwise, we walk around looking at the ground. Well, that affects the dura, that affects the dura mater, and it causes tension in there. And that tension is affected in the entire spine, that when you develop problems up in the neck area, it can cause referred pain into the arms, particular headaches into the head, even into the lower back, into the hips. Uh, there's been studies that with, when this is released, people had better hip flexion. So it just tells you that everything is connected, even though a person may be having a lot of lower back pain, no one seems to look in the upper neck. So this is our exercise. Let's get to it. Uh, what we're going to do, very simple, is that we're just going to uh, take our hands like this and we're going to bring, put it behind our head. Uh, I want it below the skull and the upper part of the neck. Now I'm going to turn around here to kind of give you a better idea. Okay, I'm clasping it together. Here's the bottom of my skull. I'm grabbing it like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to, I don't, can't really hear me talking away from the mic, but we're going to lift up. Let me show you here. Okay. We're going to lift up like this. Okay. So when we lift up, we're going to go and we're going to go into flexion, but I don't want you just pushing down. I want you to lift up 
and I want you to go down. Let's do it together. Come on. Just sit up straight like I am. I want you to lift up and look down. And when you do that, you're going to feel a lot of stretching in your lower neck and your upper back. Okay? And you'll pull that about 30 to 40 seconds. And it feels quite good. And we're stretching that dura. Now, here is the exciting part. There's a lot of uh, my listeners out there who have chronic lower back pain. This may take away your pain. It's quite exciting. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to grab, uh, we're going to cross our fingers like this, go behind the head, lift up. Now this time, what I want you to do, I want you to lean forward. Go ahead and lean forward a little bit. Lean about, you know, 35, 40 degrees forward. Now lift the head up and push it down again. And you feel it down lower in the mid back. Feels quite nice. Go ahead. And you'll hold it there. 30, 40 seconds. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to bend even further forward with our upper torso, and we're going to do it again. And watch the difference, okay? So, let's put our hands behind our back, back of our head. And now I want you to bend all the way forward. Go ahead. And now do it again. Pull it up and come down. Bring your chin on your chest. And you'll feel it in your abs, but you'll feel it in your lower back area. That's a beautiful, exciting, genius stretch. I really think it can do miracles for you because what you're doing is you're targeting the dura. You're stretching the entire spine with that increased torsion, the increased flexion of the upper torso, and you're getting a stretch in your lower back area. Now, a lot of those conditions of chronic lower back pain, sciatica, sacroiliac, buttocks, tingling, numbness, weakness, stems from up here and that's why there are millions of people out there and i've been doing this many many years there are millions of people out there who have chronic lower back pain and no one can find out what their problem is and i've had hundreds of people do this technique and again this may not work for you but i will guarantee you it will work for many if we can touch those people's lives and we can share this video and let people know, hey, listen, it may be as simple as releasing that dural, that dural torsion, uh, those adhesions, the contracture going on. Remember one thing. When you, when a, when you bite, when a dog bites the back of a dog, when you bite the back of a dog's tail, he barks out of its mouth. So what I'm saying is it's all connected. That by having dural tension up here from poor posture and conditions that we've developed, can be causing problems down here or in our mid-back area. Now, by doing this stretch, lifting up and coming over, by releasing that dural stretching, primarily upper cervical region, C2, C3, okay? C2, C3 is where all, where all the problems generally occur. All right, right up in this area, all right, that's affecting the bottom of the brainstem because the bottom of the brainstem goes down to that C2 area, the medulla oblongata. So by releasing it, we can, be, we can really be making miracles for our body. Now, again, if you have significant pain, don't do it. But I think the majority of people will be able to do it. It's a very subtle procedure. Remember, it's grabbing behind the head. If you just tuned into the video, go back to the beginning of it. It will, it will be on my, on my channel. Lift up as you're squeezing in, and then you're going to flex your chin to your sternum. You'll do it sitting up. And then go up about 35, 40 degrees, do it again. And then actually go up maybe 50, 60, 70 degrees and do it again. The more you bend forward from the, from the waist, okay, you can do it in your chair, the more you're going to feel it in the lower back. I challenge you. Um, I really hope it shows miracles for people because, listen, anything that we can do conservatively without drugs, without surgeons, without epidurals, without anything invasive, go for it. You know, I always teach people, it's always better to use a fly swatter if you can get the job done than a sledgehammer and cause lots of damage. That's what we don't want to do. So anyways, I ask if you are a new uh, listener or a new viewer here, uh, I ask you to subscribe to my channel. Many great self-help videos just like this. Great cutting edge nutrition. Uh, give me a big like if you don't mind. Uh, check me out on Facebook, Motivational Doc. I want to wish all of our listeners out there, particularly in the chat room now, because we are streaming live, 
Uh, God bless you with lots of blessings and prayers for you and your family. And keep up the great work. Stay proactive. And we'll be working together to, to try to touch as many lives as we can naturally without the use of drugs or anything invasive. Uh, blessings again. We'll catch up with you real soon. Bye-bye now.